Hi, you may have heard of MIPS and MINIPS. Both are types of volume rendering techniques in CP. Each one has its own use. So let's start with MIPS. Say for this image, if you want to highlight the most hyper intense structures, um, we would start with zooming in, taking a tiny volume of interest, looking at it closely, and then taking a small, even smaller volume. Although this is not drawn to scale, you get the point. We're just going to get a small uh, volume of interest. In this small volume of interest, we're going to take the pixel with the highest Hounsfield unit. So in this case, this one, which corresponds to the con contrast enhanced vessel. This pixel and others like it will be represented in this volume of tissue. Because we want to highlight the pixel with the highest Hounsfield units, this is called the maximum intensity projection. Because all voxels with higher densities are made obvious, it's very helpful to delineate uh, the vessels. It's very helpful for angiography studies, wherein the white vessels are contrasted against the tissues with lower densities. Note also that the vessels here are seen even though they are small and tortuous. If we do the opposite and only use the lower density pixels of this volume, we get a minimum intensity projection. So this projection is useful for, the, for visualizing the hypodense structures such as the biliary tree and the pancreatic duct. It's also useful for examining the airways, like the trachea and the bronchi, for examining bronchiectasis. Note here in this minute, um, the vessels are suppressed, and, only, and this image only displays the lung parenchyma and the bronchi. So in summary, MIPS and MINIPS are volume rendering techniques which help us visualize structures which are of a certain density. So hyperdense structures for maximum intensity projection and MINIPS for hypodense structures like ducts and airways. Thank you for listening.